of course, it tends to be those issues with the roadways, uh, elevated locations. Of course, the black eyes. Mm -hmm. Christian County now calling school out for today, as well as so many other locations. Some yeah. may be going, but why? We didn't have too much. It really just needs one or two roadways for the district to call out because safety is the number one priority. And in Christian County's release, mm -hmm. they specifically mentioned black eyes. That they did. And that's what we're also seeing across the Cumberland Plateau mm -hmm. as well. And as far as that melting anytime yeah. soon, we're not looking to get above freezing. And we're talking flirting above freezing until lunchtime. Yeah. So the list for Snow Watch at the bottom of the screen and on our website at newschannel5.com. A few other schools may be making a decision to either go late or close for today. They are still in the process of calling in and putting that information into our system. We don't put the information in. Your school leaders make the decision and then they put the information into our automated system. Let's show you what is happening right now. First up, we had the Greenbrier. We love it when you share pictures with us. This was put on my Facebook page from Darlene Osborne. This is at the Taco Bell up in Green prior last evening with a nice coating of snow. Our Skynet camera now from Crossville. And uh, you do see some of the snow on the sideways there. This street here is actually in pretty good shape. That's probably a good case for most of the county. But again, you get into some of those rural areas. All it takes is one or two roads with some black eyes to maybe close schools for the entire system. So for today, Cloud cover, cold this morning, clearing, still cold this afternoon, milder and breezy tomorrow. So we're going to flirt with 50 tomorrow and then drop again for Thursday. This afternoon, 37 Waverly, 34 Livingston, Sparta, 37 Tullahoma, 38 back over toward the Lawrenceburg area. Uh, it is gonna be a cold one for our friends with the lighting of the green. Festivities get underway today at four o'clock. They've got a marketplace over there. They will have hot chocolate. And I think there's a coffee shop just inside too for, for some hot coffee. When the concert starts right at six o'clock, 32, but the winds will be light, so not much on the wind chill factor for tonight. And as they get ready to light the tree there, right around 30 degrees. Then by daybreak tomorrow morning, 24 Franklin, 22 Lawrenceburg, 19 Livingston and Sparta. So there's what's left of the snow in East Tennessee. There might be a few leftover flurries toward the uh, plateau this morning, Nikki D, but it's all over. But the shouting right now is those snow showers are now east. Oh, goodness. And we continue to have those teams chattering all day long. Sky 5 up and live overlooking parts of creation this morning. Still pretty dark. We'll have that sunrise coming up shortly. And we'll even be able to see a little bit of snow flurry that have landed out on some grassy and elevated surfaces. So that is going to be something to see for sure. And if it's going to be this cold, at least let us have something to look at, right? Because I mean, temperatures still flirting around freezing at lunchtime. After lunch, we'll eventually head back into the mid and upper 30s. But y'all, this is significantly colder than where we should be for this time of year. So the clouds we currently have, they're going to move out. Winds will be very light, only around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So of course, once that sun starts to set, temperatures are going to tumble back into the teens and 20s as we start off our Wednesday. Now Wednesday, we're going to notice winds shifting back out of our south and west, and it's going to be breezy at times. That's going to draw in a little more heat ahead of our next system. So of course, tomorrow looking to be one of the warmer days of the work week as we will inch up into those upper 40s, low 50s. We'll have some clouds maybe a sprinkle or two, but this is not a big rainmaker. But goodness, does it change temperatures again? Because as we make our way Thursday and Friday, highs only anticipated to be back into the 30s. So what about the wind? Very nice, calm overnight. So of course, temperatures tumble back into those teens and 20s. As we make our way into tomorrow afternoon, winds will be gusting into the 20s and 30s at times. So we'll have a nice warmer air mass trying to move its way in. And even still dealing with a little bit of movement heading our way into Thursday morning by the afternoon winds will start to tone down. But look how dry we stay. This is Friday, Saturday, and then not looking to see too much in the way of rain until parts of Sunday. And it's looking to be Sunday night into Monday with that next best chance. Your seven day forecast highs today will top out at 38. It is cold from start to finish tomorrow morning. Very nice, clear and calm temperature starting out in the teens and 20s and afternoon high of 50 with breezy winds. We'll be back into the upper 20s, low 30s Thursday morning by the afternoon. Not a lot of movement, Leland. We're only looking to top out around 35 frigid degrees. I know and then look at Thursday night. Ooh, so nice. Thursday night, even colder than this morning or yesterday morning. Then temperatures try to recover going into the weekend. Big parade weekend oh, yeah. coming up on Saturday, 48 degrees, 54 Sunday, 58 on Monday. 58 never looks so warm.